Welcome to the Adobe booth at IBC 2024. My name is Kylie Pena, and I'm really excited to show you what we have coming in Premiere Pro. We're really excited about new color management in Premiere Pro because we've rebuilt it from the ground up to make it easy for editors to use because we've heard from the community that you have to do so much more with so many different formats. So we now have color management for nearly any camera as well as a wide gamut working color space. So what that means is SDR, HDR, whatever, uh, log, raw, when you put it into your sequence, it'll just look correct. No LUTs required, no, no other steps, just get right to work with the color correction. So let me show you what that means. So now, of course, color management is very technical and it's not like super fun to demo, but this is a really fun thing to see. So. I have some footage here that I shot um, in log, and so it's automatically transformed. Look, Ma, no LUTs up here. And so what I might have done in the past in the Lumetri color is come in here and I'm like, oh, it's a little blown out. So I'll just you know, decrease the exposure, but everything looks really muddy now. It's just like, ugh. I'm not a huge fan of how this looks. And that's because what we had before was a full Rec. 709 pipeline. So it's basically clamping down all your details. And instead, we now have a wide gamut working color space and Lumetri is color space aware. So I can come over here into the Lumetri settings and you'll see some new settings here for color setup. We've got six different presets here. And right now it's on Direct 709, which is what the default was. So I'm gonna go to wide gamut tone mapped. And you can see now all of the highlights and all of the contrast is really gentle and it has nice roll off. And I can even come back over here and adjust the exposure again. And it feels more like how I would expect it to as a person doing color grading on HDR footage. So it's really exciting to have a, a more robust, more consistent color pipeline that you can utilize and you can come in here and change it to minimal tone mapping or no tone mapping, depending on your personal need and your creator sensitivities um, around that. So it's really great to see um, what we've been able to rebuild. And this is just the beginning. We're really serious about color. And we've heard from the community that this is critical. I mean, what you shot on set, you, you fell in love with it when you shot it. It should look the same in Premiere Pro. So that's what we have going for color management. So now let me show you the new properties panel. The new properties panel is a context sensitive panel that opens over here in the right hand side and it surfaces, instantly surfaces the most relevant tools for whatever kind of media that you've clicked on. So right here I have media, so it's just a video clip and I have transform settings here. And um, you'll also notice, this is exciting, we have crop in here. No more adding the crop effect and going to the effect control panel, no. You can come in here and add a crop right here and I can adjust, you know, if I want to put a letterbox in here. This has, this had no letterbox, we added it in post. And even better, because of this properties panel, I can select all of these clips here and I can adjust all of this at the same time. So if I want to get rid of the crop on all of them, I'll just change it and it's gone across the whole video. So that is huge to be able to do that. But when I click on, say, graphics, you know, I get the graphics here. I click on audio, I'll get audio here. Again, this is just the beginning and we're, we're rebuilding um, sections of Premiere Pro so it just makes it faster and more efficient for editors to get the job done um, just quickly. You have less time, you've got less resources, so your NLE should be fewer clicks so you can get right into the story and reduce the tedium, just get right to work being creative. So all year long, we've been really dedicated to improving the speed and performance. We have more format support and more formats than ever are GPU accelerated. We also have faster ProRes exports, up to three times faster, so you can export and go home and you know live your life instead of watching render bars. And of course, we have a refreshed UI. So you'll notice that we've got um, a little bit updated uh, fonts, colors, and some adjustments just to make it a little bit easier to look at all day. We've improved the accessibility as well. So if you come into the appearance settings here, you can see we have a dark, uh, darkest and light mode. Okay, brace yourself. This is really great if you're working in full sun or you have certain um, you know, needs where you need that kind of UI. We also have the accessible color contrast that kind of turns up the contrast 
It makes it easier to look at the whole UI. And this is to improve consistency across uh, products as well. So you'll also see this in um, After Effects too. All of these great updates are currently in the Premiere Pro beta, which you can download alongside the regular version of Premiere Pro today if you want to try them out. They'll be shipping very soon in Premiere Pro.